Messy Booze. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the mom, the trees. And today we're going to be talking about items that I have repurchased. This is a little bit of a haul video, but we got some makeup. We have some perfumes. So I want to share with you some things that I've recently bought that were repurchases. I don't know if I should start with perfume first. I don't know if I should start with the makeup first. Listen, I love them all, child. So like, what we gonna do today? <laughs> um, anyway, I know, anyway, okay. Listen, let's start with the makeup first, okay? So things that I have repurchased, my Holy Grail products. Um, This is Fenty's bronzer. This, this is their Sun Stalker bronzer. I love Fenty Beauty products. You can see how filthy this thing is. This is done okay this is done but i had to go ahead and buy it again um and this is a different color but it's still the fenty sunstalker bronzer this product is so good like fenty's sunstalker bronzers are some of my favorite products from fenty absolutely amazing quality um i like the packaging and rihanna can't do no wrong to be perfectly honest with you but this one is in caramel cutie so i went ahead and bought a different shade i think this I think is my summertime shade so this is caramel cutie this is the perfect bronzer for me i have another one that i use called island ting so i go between caramel cutie and island ting but i always always repurchase the Stun Stalker bronzers, they are so good, you guys. These are some of the best bronzers on the market, in my opinion. She has so many shades. Her line is so inclusive from the lightest of lights all the way to the darkest of darks, to the milk chocolates, to the almonds, to the toffees, to the peanut butters, to the white chocolates, to the the beiges, to the, the porcelains, okay? You name it, and Fenty has you covered. And I love that about their products because they're so inclusive. They think of everyone in every skin type. You can find them in Sephora, you can find them in Ulta, like you can buy them online, like they're everywhere. So I really, really, really love Fenty products, but especially the bronzers. Next up is my favorite drugstore powder for my face. I have it on right now. I use it all the time. And if you've seen any of my get ready with me, honeys, you've seen this in my video, trust and believe. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have two. So I recently bought two. They are so good. Okay, they are so good. The only thing I don't like is that the product line is not as inclusive of all of the shades and all of the variations in people's skin tones and all of that. So I hate that about the product, but it matches me really well. I use the shade 20 and it's really, really works great for me. Now in the summertime, I do need a little bit of a darker shade and I can't really wear it as much as I would like to. And the one shade up is not great for me it's a little bit too cool for me so maybelline can you please work on your range of colors but i love this product it's so good and even if i don't have on foundation i will wear this product over my face as like a no makeup makeup look it gives me a little bit of color it gives me a little bit of coverage it looks super super natural it's just amazing like this product is outstanding it's always sold out <laughs> because it's so good you guys it is absolutely amazing i love this product this is the Lash Paradise Mascara. This is in the color 200 Black is Black. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. I threw away my other one. I wanted to save it to show you, but I forgot. <laughs> so trust and believe when I tell you, I use this all the time. I love this. It's so, so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with this um, mascara. It is delicious, okay? It's so good. This mascara is beautiful. I use it on my eyelashes. I even use it when I'm just going to work and I don't want to put on falsies. It's so good, you guys. It's absolutely the best, in my opinion, mascara at the drugstore that works for me and my little bitty eyelashes, okay? That's why I wear fake lashes because I ain't got none. My natural lashes is trash, honey. So Lash Paradise gives me the volume that I'm really looking for and I absolutely love this product and I repurchase it over and over and over and I have so for years. This is the Dewy NYX Dewy Finish Spray. Absolutely amazing. If you like dewy finishes on skin, this sets your makeup so well. It is so good. Um, it doesn't leave a greasy finish or shine at all. It just gives you this dewy, like natural, youthful skin look. And I've purchased, repurchased it already because this one, 
if you can hear there's like a drop there might be one or two sprays left in here so i went ahead and purchased a new one because i don't want to be without it this is my favorite drugstore setting spray because it's affordable it says it lasts for 16 hours and honestly it's the truth it definitely does because i'll spray it in the morning when i come home i'm cooking i'm cleaning i'm doing all the mom things that i need to do and my makeup still stays put so this is the best drugstore setting spray for dewy skin that i love absolutely love this product and i will repurchase over and over and over and ever again until eternity okay eternity i said eternity this is pat mcgrath's ellison oh oh child i can't see this is ellison 013 i believe if it's not correct i'll put it on the screen but i think this is ellison 013 beautiful perfect blue tone lipstick but look what i did to my i don't even want to touch it because it's like i broke it but it's only that much left because i still was using it i love it so much and it's always sold out because it's such the perfect blue tone red lipstick it's absolutely gorgeous you guys it's gorgeous so i was still using it i got my lip brush and i would just like put it on because so i wasn't about to throw it away <laughs> where they do that okay so i'm still gonna use that one until it runs out okay but it came back in stock at Sephora and so I went ahead and purchased it and look at the packaging. I'm absolutely obsessed with Pat McGrath's packaging. It's such a beautiful package. Look, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then it comes out here, if I can get it out. This is it, you guys. Beautiful Ellison 013, I believe. I'm so happy it's back in stock. Look how perfect it is. If I wasn't wearing any lipstick, I would show you guys. Maybe I'll do a reel. So check my Instagram. I'll be doing a reel on this lipstick very soon because it is absolutely the perfect, the perfect universal blue tone red lipstick. Okay, this goes with so many different skin colors. I'm obsessed with this one. This is holy grail for sure. This is my holy grail red lipstick. Absolutely gorgeous. And I will repurchase this on and on and on until eternity as well. Okay, now let's get into the perfumes that I've repurchased. This is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. I love this, you guys. It's so affordable, but it's such a niche quality fragrance. Like, this fragrance is so good. I'm trying to find the notes for y'all. Okay, the notes are apricot, pear, red berries, caramel, almond. There's also gardenia, jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. And I finished this about maybe three months ago, a couple of months ago. So I went ahead and bought a new one. Now, I don't really have any business buying repurchases of perfume because I have so much fragrance that it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's so good. I just had to go ahead and repurchase it. And it's so affordable. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful niche quality fragrance. So good, you guys. And so that little one ounce, 30 mils was not gonna do it. So I went ahead and got the big girl so now i have the full size fragrance of fancy by jessica simpson such a beautiful ambery fragrance that projects it lasts a long time it smells very rich and deep but affordable like this is such an affordable fragrance that i did not think i was gonna love it as much as i do but it's absolutely perfect jessica simpson did her thing with this one y'all this one is so so good it smells delicious it's so pretty it's feminine but it's warm but it also feels like it has some nuttiness to it with that uh almond yeah it does it has almond in it it's caramel it's pear it's fruity it's apricot so it's very fruity but it also has that sweetness with the caramel and it has the deepness with that sandalwood and the amber and the base such a beautiful fragrance and very much so worthy of the repurchase next up is another affordable fragrance this is fantasy intense by britney spears this one took me by surprise when I smelt it years ago. This to me is the best of the fantasy line. The other ones to me smell very light and girly in like 2000s, but this one has some deepness to it. The notes on this one are lychee, kiwi, pear, white chocolate, cupcake, jasmine, orchid, patchouli, woodsy notes, musk, and orris. So it's very sweet with that white chocolate note and with the lychee and the kiwi and the pear. It's very, very fruity, but that woodiness gives it that deepness, that musk in here just makes it a little bit sexy the patchouli makes it last a good long time and gives it a thickness that the other britney spears fantasies just don't have honey but this one y'all like 
this one is good it's so sweet and it's also like a little bit like bubble bath in the cleanness of the fragrance but it's sweet and woody and thick and heavy and it lasts and it's just so good like i'm super shocked with this fragrance it's absolutely worth every penny it is a wonderful fragrance if you're looking for something that's affordable if i find the link i will put it down below but if you're looking for something that's affordable but that's fruity and very sweet but also has a little bit of deepness but it's also still very crowd pleasing that's also not offensive at all like i feel like anybody would like this perfume <laughs> anybody from from a frag head down on to somebody who likes um uh, barbie fragrance okay anybody would like this this one is super good and last but not least of my repurchases is Miss Dior, the original Miss Dior. Now they've had some remakes of this over the years. This is the 2021 version, I believe. But the notes on this are Iris, Peony, Lily of the Valley, Apricot, Rose, Peach, Vanilla, Musk, Tonka Bean, Benzoin, and Sandalwood. It's such a beautiful feminine fragrance. Very, very girly. Very, very feminine. Very, very beautiful. It has the peony in there that makes it floral. And the Lily of the Valley too. This is a beautiful, soft, feminine, flirty fragrance for someone who enjoys lighthearted scents but wants to smell beautiful, okay? There's nothing else I could say about this fragrance more than that it is a beautiful fragrance. It is for the girly girl. It is for the woman who loves floral notes. It's for the woman who loves fruity notes. It also does have that vanilla and musk and tonka bean and all those things in here, but it's so, so good. Like the sandalwood in here is not a green sandalwood and it's not a creamy sandalwood either, but it does give us a little bit of woodiness in here that gives it a little bit of depth in the base. And it's just beautiful like i cannot recommend this enough if you like feminine playful fragrances this is going to be perfect for you i love it and this has been around for a really long time so this is definitely repurchase worthy so yep that's my little bitty haul okay these are some of the things that i've repurchased recently that i've loved through the years they've stood the test of time i'm absolutely obsessed with all of them or else i wouldn't have bought them again okay because i got a lot of perfume I got a lot of makeup. I got a lot of everything. Okay. I got a lot of everything. So if I rebuy something, that means it's super good. It stood the test of time. And I would definitely recommend it to you or anybody else. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a really quick video, but I wanted to share some of my repurchase worthy things with you. If you're enjoying the content, please click like. Please let me know down below something that you've repurchased recently that is definitely repurchase worthy and that has stood the test of time for you. Leave me a red heart down below if you've made it to the end. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. And until next time, I love you, love you, love you, love you.